Okay, how's it going guys? This is Professor Mughal here again. Um, I'm going to teach you how to simplify a Boolean expression using Boolean algebra laws and rules uh, and De Morgan's theorem. Some uh, of these laws we have learned in lecture number six uh, in my digital electronics lecture series. Uh, so here is the expression right here and the first thing what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to rewrite this equation. Okay, so we have x here a b bar dot a plus c and then I have bar on the whole thing plus a bar b uh, dot a plus b bar plus c bar and then I have bar on the whole thing okay now the first thing I'm gonna do here is actually going to apply D Morgan's theorem on these two terms right here. Okay, applying D Morgan's theorem. And what does the D Morgan's theorem say? Well, D Morgan's theorem say that a dot b bar on the whole thing is equivalent to a bar plus b bar, right? A bar plus b bar. Okay, all right, let's get here uh, and as uh, so let me read down here a dot b bar on the whole thing is equivalent to a bar plus b bar and then also a plus b bar on the whole thing is equivalent to a bar dot b bar correct okay all right now I am going to work on this part of the equation first which is so say this is one and this is one so it makes a, a dot b bar on the whole thing so if I convert this into this a bar where a bar is basically this whole thing a b bar so a b bar and then because I have a bar here so I'm gonna have bar on the whole thing okay plus here b b is this whole thing right here so a plus c and then i have bar on the whole thing plus i have this right here so i'm going to keep it as it is a bar dot b okay now i'm going to work on this part okay and i'm going to treat it as you know uh, this could be treated as a plus b plus c bar on the whole thing and can be converted into a bar dot b bar dot c bar correct what is a here a is this right here what is b here b is this lowercase b and what is c here this c bar okay now i have dot here so i'll just keep this dot here and now i have what um a bar plus b bar okay and then because I have bar here so I'm gonna have one more bar here and this is actually gonna be dot not plus sign right here oh let me erase this this is going to be dot because we have we have dot here so we'll have a dot here and then b bar will be replaced by this b right here so i got that and then plus dot c bar right here dot c bar okay and because uh, there's a bar here so i'm gonna have another bar here now remember folks this will cancel out correct because whenever you have two bars on top of each other they cancel out each other okay all right so what could be the next step i'm gonna apply d morgan's theorem again apply D Morgan's and this time to this right here this right here yeah okay all right so again this right here makes what a dot B bar on the whole thing again we know this is equivalent to a bar plus B bar so let's do that I have a here okay uh, bar on the whole thing plus I have B bar which is this bar right here and because I have bar here so I'm gonna have two bars here okay plus
plus. Then I have this part of the equation, a plus c bar on the whole thing. Uh, and again, uh, a plus c bar on the whole thing makes this equation, which would be equivalent to a bar dot b bar. So what is a bar here? A bar is this a dot c bar. Okay. And then I have this right here, a bar dot b. And then I have this right here, which I'm gonna uh, put it over here. Okay, uh, a bar uh, dot b dot c. Okay, also folks, remember this b, uh, this complement, the two dual complements will cancel out each other. Uh, we can rewrite this equation such that we have uh, a bar plus b, correct? Uh, plus we have a bar c bar, okay? Plus we have a bar b, and then we have a bar b c, correct? Now I'm going to apply distributive property here. This uh, property right here, distributive property, and open these brackets. So a bar plus b plus a bar dot c bar plus, let's do multiplication here, a bar dot a bar dot b dot b dot c, okay? Um, I'm going to take a bar common between these two terms. Okay, so I have a bar here, then I'm left with one plus c bar, correct? Uh, plus b, a bar dot a bar. What is a bar dot a bar? Let's see. Dot a bar will be equivalent to a. b dot b is going to be equivalent to b, and then c will remain as it is. So I have a, b, c here, and a dot a bar is actually going to be a bar, not a, okay? So uh, once I have this, we know this is equivalent to one because that makes an OR gate. So I've got a bar here plus b here. And then maybe I can take b common between these two terms. So I'll be left with one plus um, what? a bar c here, correct? Okay, now because this is an OR gate, so this is going to be equivalent to one. So therefore, I would be left with a bar plus b, okay? And that is the most simplified equation because we can't simplify it further, correct? So that's how you could do uh, apply uh, Boolean algebra laws here to come up uh, with the simplified expression. Remember when I say one plus a bar c is equivalent to one, that's because that's the property Reynolds. A plus one always equals to one. That's the Reynolds property right here. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Just follow along these laws and rules. Go step by step. Break one bar at one time, and then hopefully it should work out. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.